Hey Basin absolutely got puked on in April. Super stoked for a late season pow day. What, like a 12 inches, 11 inches? Tons of snow and we're gonna go get it. Hopefully there's no dust on crust situation. I'm expecting chest deep pow, let's get it. It's so deep, it's thick, it's hard to turn. Oh, it's so hard to turn. It's so touchy too. Okay, very careful. Oh. It's so hard to ride. The bottom layer is like a sheet. Jeez, I can't turn in this. It's, I'm a little nervous. I can't move. Look at this storm slap. Just going. That's what knocked me over. It's all that slough pulling me off my feet. This is a unique day. Like I'm definitely in steep enough terrain where I gotta be careful because I gotta like cause a storm slab. Get pushed against a tree and this is enough snow to bury you. Like I don't like this one bit. Look at this storm slab. That was a little sketchy in there. Yeah, it was. Now we went to like the steepest terrain. First go that we knew we could get to from that lift. Let me turn down a notch. Super hard to turn in the snow. Spring pal, baby. Dude, that was so, da that was dangerous. <laughs> Dude, I fell like 20 times. The bottom, the crust layer is so slick. Very hard to control, but it was fun. It's so hard to turn. Yeah. Hey, it's it's fun. Even though I'm terrified and it's it's going to be good and we're going to make the most of it. Spring conditions, this is might be the gnarliest I've ever experienced when it comes to like, I've learned a lot about avalanches and backcountry. That's why I'm like, oh man, like I checked the Avi report today and they're like, you will die. Like, don't go out there. Then you come to A Basin, which is a gnarly mountain and like they do their mitigation and stuff, but you can still get yourself in a pickle. It's good to know this type of stuff, even if you're riding the resort because you can get caught in avalanche on the resort. So well, let's go get another one uh um, I, I gotta i gotta get some confidence <laughs> Dude, you gotta be so careful because the crust, like I got grabbed. Oh, momentum was stopped. That's for making turns, it got easier once it got ridden a little bit. That first track was crazy. Happy birthday powder day for Cody. Howdy. It's sketchy, dude. Dude, yeah, I, I did one run. I was like, I don't trust any turn right now. It's hard to turn. Like first track was brutal. It's heavy. Yeah. So Instant360 heard it was Cody's birthday and decided today on Cody's birthday, they were gonna drop the X4. Now this is the 360 camera that I use for all my shots. So what I'm using in today's video is the greatest action camera for skiers and snowboarders. And if you wanna grab one, it is linked down below. Snag it, use my link. The X4 is changing the game with 8K footage and slow-mo at 5.7K, 60 frames per second with the 360 filming. So you can go out and rip gnarly lines like we're doing and then just get the best shots and reframe it later. It's, 
It's really sick. I have a whole in-depth video. You can check it out right here. Go watch that video if you're interested in the X4. But also they discounted the X3, which is a pretty rad camera. It's just the step below this one. So uh, yeah, you're going to want to go snag an Insta360. Thank you for sponsoring this channel, Insta360. And uh, happy birthday, Cody. Buy one for Cody's birthday. For yeah. Cody. Wait, you I want your birthday. You for my birthday. Yeah, buy one. That's how we wanted to yeah. say it. <laughs> oh, where did this wind come from? I can't move. I had a feeling that was going to happen. So we have this rock shoot that we like to do and uh, coverage in here looks actually rather nice. Just a lot of it depends on how firm is it. I can heel slide in or toe slide in. I almost like the heel slide in better. Oh. I thought I had it. Oh, rats. I was like, that was so smooth. It's so hard to stay on your feet today. I got really scared when I was head going down first. Woo. But those first turns were good. Woo. That's the same exact spot that got me. Dude, I thought that was gonna ride so much better. <laughs> when you hit a hard spot, man, you hit one. This is a sick day though. Hi mom, subscribe. So the reason why today is like one of the sketchiest days I've ever snowboarded and why we keep falling is because you have a very hard base layer because it's been like 60 degrees four days in a row then it froze and then we got over a foot of snow and so it, it slides on that hard iced up layer the, the 60 degree layer so all this snow is sitting there so as you're making turns and riding it it's sliding on that layer and moving from underneath you so either you just run into really firm like hard snow or the snow that you're on and riding is also moving the same time you are because you guys are both sliding so then you don't get these like secure for sure edges and so it's cause like you go on a hard heel side edge and then it, you're on moving snow so everything just goes whoop and like right out from underneath you it's wild this is a unique day but i'm not as worried about getting stuck against a tree and snow burying me now that a lot of it's been ridden through the first two runs i was like i'm gonna die in avalanche today Whew. let's try and stay on our feet can't make any of the turns I want to. I'm so gassed. <sighs> yesterday we did a uh, Ute Mountain. It was a five hour skin and hike in and it killed me yesterday. But then it dumped out. I was like, I gotta get some pow. But now here I am like, I have no energy. The snow is a workout, which is a good thing. We want, we want, I'm on a diet. We're uh, getting ready for summer. We're working out. You know, we're trying to uh, be the best version of ourselves. You know who else is trying to be the best version of their selves? 
Jaren with today's sticker shout out with the black sticker on the helmet. Looking insane, guys, if you want an evolution sticker. We have so many colors and styles and versions for anybody's style out there. Even if your style is being a skier, we do a ski version of all of our merch. If you guys snag it, tag me on Instagram. I'll give you guys a and sticker shout outs in the vlogs like I just did. But it supports the dream. I cannot say thank you enough. I love seeing how you guys rep the merch on your gear. A lot of you guys put up super unique and different. It's so rad. So thank you so much for supporting the dream, guys. All right, this doesn't look terrible. Hopefully I can make some turns. Hopefully I can hold this pull. What just happened? Oh, I'm not gonna lie guys. This one's gonna be chipmunk for safety reasons. This has been one of the sketchiest. Dude, my energy level, the snow being touchy and firm and all kinds of stuff. But we came out early and we got it. All right, this one's Cody's birthday lap. I just had this crazy thought. If you did want to get Cody a birthday present, get the slush badger sticker. All the money of that sticker, you buy it. I give all the money to Cody. It's a nice little bonus at the end of the year. So yeah, do that. buy Cody's sticker. It's getting choppier, chunkier. Like a little easier to turn, but also a little harder to turn. It's like the weirdest pattern. I don't want to go that fast on this day. And like, that's a tip for you guys. There's days you can tell like, I have no control in the trees. Don't go fast. I would have just kind of pointed, like normally I could have pointed it down and used this to stop, but I was unsure. And if you lose it, and that tree would have been the death of me. But you know, that's all bad biscuits. So just go slower, make sure turns. You've got a heel slide a section, heel slide more. Don't care if people are like, scraping all the snow away. It's like, yeah, you're trying to die. Someone else scraped it first. I really shouldn't be moving over towards this thing. I don't have the energy, but I want to see it. Mr. Big Rock. I'm on top of the world. This is why you should get an X4, by the way. And you can like, Whoa. look at these 360 drone shots. <sighs> Normally I would probably take some really hard line this way. I don't have the energy for that. I would love to jump that. That's been ridden and now it's all firmed out. I'm going shape way out. Ooh. Subscribe, because all the other times we would have come down something like this. I just did not have the energy to avoid these guys, which I have actually slid in and fallen and hit this tree before in that exact spot. Dust on crust. I bet I can get a 180 right here. Nope. Yeah. Oh. Now, if your season has ended, guys, and you're super jealous of this powder I just had, and you're like, fuck house, don't complain about the snow, at least you have it. I get that. But don't worry, don't you complain about the snow, because I have a way for you to extend your season. And that's by coming to my all-inclusive adult snowboard camp in June, June 9th through the 15th in Oregon at Timberline Ski Resort. You buy your flight, you buy your camp spot, and I'm going to take care of you guys. I'll pick you up at the airport with the shuttle time, and then I'm going to feed you guys, and then we're going to go ride, I'm going to film you, then we're going to do video breakdown, then we're going to go out the next day and work on the tips and all the drills that I just gave you. 
you and it's the raddest experience so many people have learned 180s and 360s and four slides if you want to start getting into park riding or just work on your carving your ollies anything you guys want to learn summer camp is the place to do it it's coming up spots are filling up so do it now because you don't want to miss out on an opportunity to continue to ride late season june guys june 9th through the 15th but you also want to get better at snowboarding i know you do i'm a rad coach i can teach you a lot and it's also fun to explain all the gnarly uh things that were happening with the snow today all with all the backcountry knowledge and things that i've been learning we did it boys we survived Survive. One of the sketchiest days of day basin I've ever had. That last one was probably the best round of the day, though. Yeah, was, those were where my first lines were, and it was really good. But, like, I was brave. You'll see. Yeah. Cody edits for me, guys. But with that, Team Hawk House, thank you so much for coming out for an April powder day with us. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow in another video. It's daily on this channel. We do stuff like this daily.